Barton FM, following Barton Town. Sport on Barton FM is sponsored by Easy Buy. It's another training night down at Base Guard School for the Barton Town teams. We have the women's team here. They've got a match on Sunday. We also, I believe, should have the first team down here. They've got a match away at Beverly. Um, so, actually, probably both derby games because I believe the women's team are playing Barton United ladies. Um, so, have a word with the managers, hopefully. Find out how teams are getting on and how they're preparing for the weekend. Good evening, Bells. Good evening, Trevor. It's another cold night. Very. Yeah. Not as cold as last week, I don't think, but yeah, it's not far off, is it? No, obviously not far we, off. We had last week's game postponed. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, yeah. And obviously the Helen game was postponed off to next mm. week. So yeah, we've, next got, um, we've got a bit of a derby match, especially for you this weekend. Yeah. Yeah, isn't it? I think it's the closest. I mean, obviously there's, there's bots for the Winterton as well for us, but yeah, this one probably a bit more. Probably maybe more rivalry in terms of in our camp, not in terms of location, but certainly in terms of the camp, I suppose, obviously being was a three or four maybe, who's certainly turned out for Beverly, and obviously myself and Dan Wood was there, or I was there for the last 18 months. So yeah, so it'd be, uh, yeah, it should be an interesting game. Does, um, does that give it a bit of extra, um, what's, it, what's the word, frisson? To the game, Are you I think so. Yeah, I think it. Yeah, I think it does. It definitely does, doesn't it? Really, like if being totally honest, it's yeah, it does. So I think when you're going back to an old club, yeah, you always want to do well, regardless, don't you? We always want to, whether you're a player or, or manager or a coach, you you sort of want to go back and, and and do well. You don't want to go back and not do well, so to speak. So yeah, it's definitely one to look forward to. So uh, obviously at the beginning of the season when when I got the job, I knew obviously we're playing Beverly at some point. So but yeah, it's. Uh, so yeah, yes, yeah, one to look forward to. I think I think the lads are looking forward to it. I'm sure. Like I say, I think if they haven't played for Beverly, I think the majority of our squad, and the same with Beverly, I think they they know the majority of our players up from some period of time where they're playing with them at another club somewhere or a pro club or or another non-league club. They just sort of come across paths, aren't they? So I think they'll be yeah, and there's obviously quite close. Players, players that played for us last season have been gone to Beverly as well. Yeah, and there's that on the flip side of it, isn't they? So yeah, there's there's had a thought. And there's old players, even like Matty Plummer, I think was at Barton wanted for a few seasons. So there's certainly players like that who, again, have got some form of connection with vice versa, one with Barton, one with Beverly or previously. So, yeah, it'll be be interesting game. So, yeah, a bit of a local one. I think I saw them advertising it today. I can't remember what they called it, but, yeah, El Humber or something, I think <laughs> yeah. it was. So something on yeah. the lines of that. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, it's a good local. Another local one, which is good. Like I say, we've, got, we've already got Winterton and, and Bottesford, which are local. Uh, and that's adds to it really it's adds to the mix which is good now, do they have problems with their pitch in the cold weather I, mean, can I don't think so no if I remember right I mean obviously they was one of the only was it two or three games I think from the weekend who who were on with the weather I mean the weather I know Barton had its issues last season with the pitch but I think I don't think much could be done would do I think there was, must have been like 80% of games off across the country non-league yeah. never mind uh, in our league alone so to my knowledge, I think drainage was pretty good. And don't get it wrong, if it's torrential, although it was last week and they got the game on, so yeah. I'd be, I'd be, yeah, I can't see any issues really. The, 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 it's a decent surface and the ground staff. But I think our problem last yeah. week was the pitch was frozen, then it rains, and the rain had nowhere to go because the pitch was frozen. Right. So. Uh, yeah, but then they played Tuesday night at home again, didn't they, against yeah. Pickering? So in the in the I think it was League Cup, wasn't it? So. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, can't, I can't see there being any issues. I'm not. It's not even into my head that the game would be under threat unless there was some. Yeah, serious, serious weather. But even then, like I say, it's, it holds up quite well. The ground staff, credit to them, they've, they've looked after it well. So, I'd be, yeah, and not in my head. I can't, I can't see anything being in any danger. So, as far as I'm so, concerned, the players are concerned, it'll be game on, on Saturday. And where do we stand the play, with the players? Obviously, you've had a bit of a rest, so it's been a, a good week's rest. Yeah, game. obviously, we got we got caught, not last minute, but I think it was called, I thought, 10, 10 30 on Saturday. So, yeah. I mean, probably ideally, we'd have trained and done something, but it's too short notice to, to be doing that. And the weather was atrocious, wanted it on top of it. So, again, if you're going to train, it'd have to be an indoor facility, and then it's then getting the facility. So, no, they had the weekend off. We trained, obviously, Tuesday and Thursday this week. Uh, on the player front, I think it's just about the same as last week. Uh, I think. Yeah, Elliot Broughton was back. Right. He's obviously got another couple of sessions to read off his belt. Lucas right. Robinson was obviously signed on the Friday last week. So he will he obviously comes in contention for the weekend. Uh, he's obviously trained now three or four times, looks sharp. So, yeah, other than that, I don't think there's anyone. The only one outstanding injury is Kieran Russell, I think. Oh, we got relatively good news. Because I think at some point he thought he might be out for the season or near enough the season. But we've got good news that he... 
he might be back sort of end of January, which is a bonus because I think he thought in his head it might be done uh, for the for the season. So yeah. other than that, I don't think there's anyone injured, and hopefully. Uh, Anyone? No, hopefully no one gets injured tonight. So other than that, no, we're, we're quite healthy really in terms of the squad. So yeah, it's uh, yeah, we'll look look forward to the weekend. Okay. Cheers. Thanks very Good much. Luck. Cheers, Trev. I'm going to try and track down Amy Bartoff Lincoln, who's uh, currently taking part in one of the training sessions with the women's team, and uh, find out about their game on Sunday. Good evening, Amy. Good evening. You've just had, just had a training session? We have, yeah. It was a brilliant session. Uh, very high intensity, great numbers. Um, you know, we're feeling really ready for Sunday. So it's a big Derby match Sunday? It is. We're against Barton United. Uh, we're at home, so we're at um, New Holland playing ground. 2pm um, kickoff. So, yeah, it'll be, be an exciting game. They've, um, they've been doing all right in the season as of we as well so you know it's going to be a very tough challenging game um, but absolutely fantastic for Barton uh, with two women's teams both competing at very high levels within the league so yeah credit to credit to women's football really for that and um, yeah I think it's fantastic that there's enough players in Barton to have two strong teams. Any weather concerns? Because um, obviously the pitches around here suffer from cold frozen pitches yeah. <laughs> yeah they're not great are they with the marshlands all around us and, as well yeah. but yeah the weather's looking all right i mean there is a little bit of rain on sunday it's saying um but you know we've got protocols in place for that we can do a pitch check and stuff like that so yeah i don't think it's going to be freezing over the weekend so yeah i've done my research on okay. the weather i think we're going to be all right and uh, you've got a decent squad for sunday yeah we've got a very strong squad um we've actually got 19 players available so okay. yeah you can only name 16 so that's going to be a tough challenge for me but at the same time very healthy very healthy place to be in um, in terms of players available strength within the squad rotations things like that so yeah we're in a very good position for Sunday uh, like I said it makes my job difficult but right. you know that's my role as a manager to rotate the squad so 19 players will seem to indicate that it's women's football is quite strong oh absolutely yeah um, very very strong like I was saying the fact that there is two teams going strong in Barton just speaks volumes in my opinion um, and the fact that we've got more than enough players available each week you know we are in a very lucky position because I know a lot of other teams around the county struggle for players so yeah I don't you know I don't take that for granted um, we've got a very committed group but as well, that's down to the environment and players wanting to come to training, wanting to be available at the weekend. So, you know, we all work very hard as a volunteer team. Um, obviously, we've got a good setup with the club and support from the club, which helps. So, yeah, it's, you know, it's going as well as it can be for us, really. OK, good. Thanks very much. Thank you very much for interviewing. Thank you. Right, that's it for tonight. Um, the reserves are at home on Saturday, half past one kick-off. Uh, so if you can't get to the Beverly game, which is only about 30 minutes away, then I'm sure they'd love to see you down at the ground. Uh, they're playing at the Easy Buy Stadium. That's it for this week. Bye.